What's up, YouTube? I'm back today at Locals with Ben. Um, he came second with what were your matchups and what deck were you playing? I was playing Nouvelles today, and I, my matchup today was Ice Barrier, Paleos, uh, Dream Mirror, and Sword Soul today. I uh, came second with this deck. It's just a fun ritual deck that just doesn't have a wing con. Just keep shooting off your opponent's stuff and just pray. So into the deck profile, we're playing three of the level one fairies. I won't be saying their names because I can't say them for the life of me. <laughs> then three of her. Just a very good even normal summon or special summon of certain cards that I'll show later. She can add recipes or and the other effect that I've never used. But if she tributed, you can send to the top of the extra deck and then she goes back to the pendulum zone. Now, when she pendulum, uh, she can pendulum special summon herself on pendulum zone which targets. So if you target one of your ritual monsters, they will then do their effects, which then you can combo off of. We're then playing two of the level one ritual monster. As I can say, I cannot say the name for the life of me. Basically, go five deep to look for more novel cards, and then if it's targeted or it's targeted for an attack, you can trip it off to special summon level two or three ritual novels ritual monster. And we're playing two of the level two one, now when this is one special summoned, it can destroy a, a spell trap. And if it's targeted itself or it gets attacked, you can tribute it to and another face attack position monster to special summon a three to four. So they all keep going up higher and higher. Then we're playing one of the level three ritual monster. I'd like to play a sat too, because it just when it's special summon it's gives you a plus one draw. And this one if a, a, when a card or effect attacks a monster on the field, or if anything is targeted for attack, this one can attribute itself and level uh, a, fa a face up attack position monster on the field to special summon up four and a five. So, very good itself. The player in one of the level four, which I'm debating playing more. Uh, basically, this has the same effect as this, apart from we can shuffle three cards from any graveyards into the deck. And when it's tributed off, it goes to 5 6. Playing one of the five ritual, which when it's special summon, I can add a Novell's card from deck and graveyard, I believe. Nope, it's just the deck. So I'll just add any missing piece you need. And it doesn't have the target in effect, sadly, unless it's been uh, special summoned by the effects of a Novell's card, which then it goes into level 6. And the final one level six which when this special summons it can negate the effects of all face-up culture point current controls which is pretty big and then when it's also been summoned by a ritual monster it can also target one face-up attack position monster and tribute itself off to the one and the only hungry burger <laughs> OG, best card. Yes. Uh, Hungry Burrow is Hungry Burger. Very iconic. Enough said with that. <laughs> then we're running three Diviner of the Heralds. Just good generic ritual support. And if it's tributed, you can summon this from your deck. Perfect combination right there. We're playing three Fenrir because good. Then we're playing three Nib can be used as ritual material or disruption. We're playing free ash, because it's ash. We're then playing free off the restaurant. Honestly, really good recursion and drawing. When it's that there, you can add a recipe card from my deck or graveyard to my hands. And then if I have a ritual monster in my hands, I can place it at the bottom of the deck to draw a card. And during the end phase, as long as I have a recipe card in my graveyard, I can shuffle that and another card into the decks, and then I can draw a card off it. Just keeps on going. Saves my life. We're then playing three of oh, this card. I'll probably butch that again. Basically, it special summons two monsters from my deck or extra deck and all that. So it tends to be these two. Obviously, this I'll show you off later. Obviously this one can get straight from the deck. Obviously give one to your opponent and one to you. Starts off your plays. We're playing two of the fish recipe and two of the meat recipe. 
So fish, when it uh, ritual summons a level one, which I saw earlier, it can then add this from my deck back to the hands. And then when this, which summons the level two, it can change all your opponent's defense position monsters to attack. Then we're playing two of today's mill menu, I mean, which is basically search any two new veils from the deck and your opponent chooses one to add to your hands. And then depending on what attribute it is, I can add uh, the following recipe card to it, which is handy. When we're playing traps, we're playing the one of the staff, staff recipe, which is just a nice quick tribute on your opponent's turn and can get you token to do the tributes. Playing one of the chef's special recipe, which is just an Omni Negate. And it's got another hidden effect, which is when I special summon a hungry bird, I can banish this card from Grey and then tribute as many monsters from my opponent controls. Fun. Then we're playing free imperm, that's the last hand trap. Now we'll go to the extra deck. So we're playing three of this. Basically it's just to give to your opponent. And then you can carry on your pendulum combos. Cards. Pendulum cards. There's more pendulum cards in there. Oh. Then we're playing two Ernatus. Just send off either Diviner or something in my side deck. Playing one Garua. Then we're playing one Mechalogic Agrif. Aggregator, where it is, just a good send of something in my side. Typhon, it's just Typhon. Got one Herald of the Arc Light, just to send off the Viner. Got Chaos Angel because I can summon it and it's funny. One SP, one Anima. Would like to bump this up to multiple copies because you can just keep tributing off your um, level ones and keep taking and keep recycling stuff we're playing one of these big boys which is obviously for something in my side deck we're playing one dark just taking link and then we're playing the sacred flame love this card maybe it won me a game it's beautiful yeah I probably will Throw in some other generic stuff in the extra deck, swap it out, change some stuff because I just got this card in for no reason. Now for the side deck, we're playing free Ogre, free Mourner, and the free Ultimate Slayer, which sends most of this extra deck stuff off and just gain double value. It hasn't really come up yet, so I'll probably cut them soon. Playing two Lightning Storm and the one. Feathers Duster and Free Cyclone. So yeah, you enjoy playing this deck, don't you, Ben? Yes, it cooks. Yeah, it very cooks. good partner. <laughs> right. Thank you for doing the deck profile. I'm going to challenge Ben to a game of Pendulums versus uh, his favourite deck. So stay tuned for that. Cheers, thank you for watching.